downtown and city. See how, I'm curious to see how aggro Sonic decides to go. I mean, like you said, he's definitely been known for one of the more aggressive Sonics. Bullet is coming out with some parries out the door. Well, the thing about it is, like, Sonic's kind of ran over Goblin, right? Like, it was a, it was a game, game three set, but in the two games that Sonic's won, it was a very, very aggressive playstyle. Yeah. Not the timeout playstyle that you're looking for. At all. And they were like, what, three stocks? A three stock and a two stock or something like that? Or two two stocks? Um, yeah, that sounds about right. It was, it was like you said, the, the two games that Sonic's one were uh, pretty one-sided, but big old forward smash from Cola. Yeah, he, he looks very comfortable in this matchup. He does. Oh, went for a uh, quick way to catch him back here, but wow, <laughs> just stared at him with the kill and maim tag, no less, too. <laughs> Alright, Air Dodge is back down to the stage, but gonna survive here. Nice. Oh, he catches the jump in the back air. So, such a great use of that town and city platform for an extension there, too. Immediately run off viewers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Viewers on the spring to get that back up. up. Looks like Cola went for a ledge trump and just instead just fast fell off the stage. That was a little scary. But the up tilt gonna seal it up on uh, two stocks apiece. Oh, just gets it from across the stage. But able to safely grab the ledge and get back. Oh, there's that fast fall up air, up air that Roy's loved. Yeah, nice jump out there from Sonic, recognizing that that near extension there would have been a reset. So really great for him to just avoid that situation entirely. Still build a little bit on this lead too. Ooh. Yeah, trying to mix up the timing there a little bit, but Cola was ready. And that's kind of the tough part, right? Like on Wi-Fi, you kind of have to try to hit Sonic preemptively because you kind of figure out like, when they're going to be coming in, when they're going to be moving. So that's why you see Cola kind of swinging a little bit on those fairs, trying to push in where Sonic's going to be uh, approaching from the ground. Yeah, obviously the hardest part about that, you know, having to do that is making sure you're doing it in a safe enough way to where your uh, your option is not going to get punished by the absolute the unreactable uh, approach of Sonic. Oh, catches him on the down air there with the wet noodle back air. Oh, looks like he had the read on the roll, but maybe he uh, could get spaced in the right area. Nice back air again. It's an old Ken trick we saw in Smash 4 a lot. A lot of Sonic moves, that's one I saw the most of. Where you would go low and then B reverse the spring so you could come up with the back air above the ledge. Yeah. Great mix up in it. Worked out there, but Sonic with the stock lead here. Now, racking up some percent. Pushing Cola into the corner. Yeah, great stuff for Cola to be able to shield some of these fairs. They're coming in so quickly, but. Cola knows when to put up that shield. Yeah, it was a tough break just a second ago, too. Cola looked like he might have been a couple frames away from getting a sweet spot uh, F tilt on that slide in, but just got the sour spots done. Yep. Bane of Roy. I mean, obviously, those uh, those soft spots can come in handy sometimes, but when you're looking for the kill, it's not what you're looking for. Yeah, should we punish off of this? Yeah, try to see if you can get the, uh, the roll in there. Interesting with the up tilt, though. I'm kind of curious what the follow up would have been on. He just likes to get back to that platform, and now he is pushing Cola once again. Cola is going to want to find this kill as his percent is getting redder and redder by the second. Yeah, this is slowly getting out of hand. This is you know this is where this matchup can, can really oh my gosh can uh, deal mental damage is when you have built up a lead in the early stocks and then you just can't find that kill and. Just one of the stocks, and all of a sudden you're down 90%. And look at all that shield damage from that Ooh. as well. Yeah, that shield is looking not full, looking a little tiny, getting close to uh, M&M size. And here's where that kind of slower play starts to come in, waiting for Cola. Cola the entire time has been trying to like, hit, these, hit the moves preemptively, and now Sonic's standing at a good range where he can punish those whiffs. Yeah, Cola just backing up, trying to uh, get in a healthy position, but now he's set up on the side platform. Uh-oh. Great spring out there. This hurt, not quite going to kill him. Center stage, up he's past the spring. If that spring hitting you without a jump could be the end of your game as Roy. That's kind of the scary thing here, I think. 
think the chat backer might kill him. If, yeah, I mean, with Rage, that, that, it's looking like it might. Oh. Uh-oh. It's the grab. That's got him off stage. If he can catch a backer by the edge of this uh, edge of the stage, I mean, with that much Roy Rage, yeah, man. you never know. And you see Sonic's just, you know, just no game. Oh, but that'll do it. And uh, Sonic takes game one over Cola. Uh, just like we saw in the last set, that went from being a pretty firm victory for Sonic's. Or like in the sense that like in the last set we saw people really establishing themselves. But that went from a really firm set for Sonic's to, you know, Cola bringing that all the way back. Really, really scary there at the end there. Yeah, when you the the idea of Roy with rage just scares me. Let alone facing one on a uh, on town and city. So, I understandably uh, being a little nervous there, but still able to compose himself enough to seal it up and has the game advantage now. Gotta wonder if uh, if Cola goes down a couple games, does he switch characters? I doubt it. I, I wouldn't think we so might, either. We might see the cloud. Where I do not think we're going to see the snake. Right. You see, it sounded like the snake got handled pretty... Uh, I mean, it's just you, uh, you know, it's lo you lose uh, lose one, one, only one game in it. So who really knows? But is sticking with the Roy. He was able to uh, win three games at the Soak Series with the Roy. Uh, that was actually the turn that he went on to win as well, keep in mind. So. Yeah. So he's definitely got the uh, experience against Sonic with this character and the, the results as well, so he probably will stick with it, but I always wonder with, you know, being that good with that many characters, I feel like it's gotta be, it's gotta deal uh, holes on your mental if you're, if you're set in this, stuck in the situation where you think, man, maybe if I had switched or maybe if I had done this, but ultimately, a lot of times it's just going with the tried and true, but starting off Pretty, pretty similarly here on uh, on Pokemon CM2 for game two, pretty even percents. Cola just chilling on that platform, waiting for a uh, overcommitment. And Sonic instead is just gonna hang out in that little uh, in that little pocket below Pokemon Stadium. Yeah. Ooh, oh man, he might have been able to be able to like the last one right there. Good back air though. Oh, looked like he was trying to. Uh, Back up to punish that. And that's such a smart positioning option for him too, because like when that move doesn't connect with anything, it is in an eternity of lag. Yeah. I also love watching Roy just run up forward tilt. Hit stage and just take the stop. You have a strange definition of things <laughs> you love. You know, love love's a love's an interesting term. A many splendored um, thing as the Beatles would say. <laughs> Gets the, yeah, gets the sour spot on that fastball up air, not able to continue off of it, but still building up sizable percent. And just thinking about the long term of this, uh, in the waiting, obviously, in Winner's Finals is Epic Gabriel. Epic Gabriel beating Sonics last night, Epic Gabriel having trouble uh, historically in the Roy matchup. And one of the few people that's actively cheering on the, uh, the Sonics right now. He very well might be. He does not want to face the Cola Roy. But Cola able to hang on to this first stock for quite a while. Yeah, once he's at every three, yeah. Yeah, that'll do it though. But with 97% on Sonics, that's a that's a win. Oh my gosh, he almost caught him in the invulnerability. An immediate 24% answer from Sonic, so great spot there for him too. <laughs> there it is again! Nah. <laughs> he just Ran up and forward tilted him like that was uh, like he's being paid to do it basically. And made it look good. Now uh, Cola in a decent position to even up the uh, the game count here in the set. But yeah, look at this. He already 54 percent on Sonic's last stock. Yeah, you can tell Cola is just electing to take some of these trades now. He's like, you know what? I got a whole stock. I, can, I, I just need to build up your percent. I can push buttons with you. Yeah. I got all day. And the thing is, like, it's a little bit earlier in the clock as well, too. Only uh, four minutes now compared to like the, the three minute mark we saw the last time. He was, you know, Woo! he was ready to end it right there. Getting a little bit crazy there. A little bit spicy. Cola's never afraid to throw that out. It goes for the uh, upward angle on the side B. Trying to get him in the air to continue, but now 98% from Sonics, all the way up 113. 
Oh, with the ledge drop, and that'll nice. do it on the back here. Once across the board for Cola and gets that two stock on Sonic oh, game too. Really good stuff. Yeah, that was a. Uh, it seemed like that game. He was like, how about instead of uh, how about I just turn the gas on it? And he, I mean, he uh, he pushed Sonic really hard that game. Yeah, and got the stocks for it. You know, we mentioned it at the start of Type Eight, but like both of these players in Gabriel and Cola are are really going to give us like the I feel like the best matches against the Sonic players as well. Yep. Just with how uh, how experienced both of them are in it, and not uh, not failing to uphold their part of the bargain right now. Really great stuff. Uh, so far in this set, really fun to watch. Yeah, indeed. Um, and I'm curious, especially if um, how the bracket lines up. If Cole is able to take it, if we would see the Goblin Sonic's rematch, and uh, if he was able to take it over the Doctor Mario, of course. But I have to take a look at the bracket. I feel like that. that would be in losers yeah. semis because Goblin's right. on the lower half. Yeah. Uh, but going to Yoshi's story here, maybe uh, Sonic's trying to get some. Quick kills for uh, against the Roy, but honestly, I feel like Roy does not mind the stage one bit. Yeah, this is kind of a fun one, right? Where like anything can happen. This is my one of my personal favorites, just because like obviously the, the kills are a little bit earlier on pretty much everything, both ceiling and sides. So we'll see who can kind of take advantage of this the most. Cola loves that downer. I feel like I see Cola use downer on Roy more than any other Roy. I think you're right. And I love seeing it. It's a great tool. It is. I see him try to, like, reads the uh, tech options with it quite a bit. Oh, okay. Up to 66%. The, the single hit of that forwarder not going to do a whole lot. Nice forward tilt there. It seems like it's now Sonic's turn to have that. Uh, the advantage across the stage, so kind of swapping in between the games here. Game one being in Sonic's favor, game two being pretty hard in Cola's favor. Right now, game three kind of leaning back towards the Dominican Republican, or Dominican Republican player. Yeah. And oh, the up air. That's that's where I was thinking is this might uh, be a handily interesting stage, and poor Sonic's is getting some of these uh, maybe up air strings together and getting an early kill that way, but. Honestly, 150, it's not going to take uh, more than one just above the stage to kill. Or another sliding F tilt yeah. just for you. Just for me. He must have heard me. He's like, all right, I'll give you a couple. And just it, completely ignoring the percent lead, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just got pushed off a little bit, got spooked by the, uh, by the spring, and then wasn't able to recover. But still even here on the uh, stocks and percents. Knocked down from that. I'm like just hanging out on the ledge. Both now. players trying to find out, like, get that neutral win. Yeah. Oh Whoa! my gosh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> he just sent it out there. The Mike was a little bit closer to my mouth than I expected. <laughs> just like Sonic was a little bit closer to that S match than I expected. So let's be honest, that was how, that's how we all felt <laughs> watching him. Uh, Throw that F smash up on the top platform. Yeah, you just kind of watch that with like and hold your breath. Like, wait, is he gonna get the sweet spot on that? <laughs> right. And now, uh, Cola with quite a lead here, percent wise. And now he's just hanging out on the top platform, trying to see if he can catch an up air or something from Sonic's coming in. Okay, gets the grab. Not much to be done off of Ford's row. Ooh, that super low back air. Yeah, that uh, falling from the platform back here, always a good uh, mix up to catch some movement from the Roy. Sonic just bouncing around, trying to find his way in, trying to find his way back to even in this game, but Cola is electing for these trades, and it is hurting when uh, Cola's got the stock lead. He was hanging out there for a minute. Yeah. They're taking a breather, you know? Respectable. And mine as well, Cola knows firsthand just how patient these matchups can become, so there's no reason to overextend in that position. Another thing I didn't think about with Sonic on the stage is I wonder if he can get some wild kills with the downward angle of the forward smash when he's on that tilt. 
Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I feel like that could... He hasn't really had the opportunity to set up for that this game, but I feel like that could lead to disaster against the Sonic. Oh, but sure enough, the high up B is going to be able to punish with the back air, and now pretty much even. Yeah, this is going to be a huge swing. I mean, we're at one game apiece. The counter pick advantage is going to be pretty huge. Another 20% just off of that double edge, blade, double edge dance. Oh, this is, oh, I just threw the down tilt. Alright, now Sonic's trying to go high, get away, but now he's charging it up in the corner. I feel like Sonic's jump sound is just so satisfying. Brings it back, but he's gonna need a couple more of, yeah. those, uh, of those jumps into whatever he needs to even this back up. You can see Cola trying to get a little preemptive there, trying to read where Sonic is going after those straight hits. Because at this point, we're getting to the, like, you know, jab being like, a win condition right now. Ooh, misses the tech on that top platform. Falls out of the upper, that's tough. Yeah. That was a lead if I've ever seen one. Look for something there. This is a scary position, you know. A lot. We've already seen a couple of those run up forward tilts, and you know, Song's got to have it in the back of his mind. There's another one. Yeah, he went for it on the ledge. Maybe we're reading a roll back. So hard, so hard to react to that on Wi Fi, too. It is, yeah. It comes out so fast out of that run animation. Down to about 80 seconds now. Yeah, it would be a miracle if Sonic was able to stay alive, stay alive that long, as well as take the percent lead back. But you know, he's just gonna want to take it. Yeah, I think we're. I think he's gonna have to take that stock out, right? I think you're absolutely right. It's a narrow. Okay, this is pretty big. Now only 20% separates them. Yep, 20%, 60 seconds. Who knows? Bullet is trying to be patient. There's that F tilt again. Maybe Cola's even playing for the timeout. Yeah, I think I think both of them are very well aware of it. The thing is, Sonic hasn't been hit in like a solid 45 seconds. Oh, oh but there it is! <laughs> but the tried and true! I shouldn't have said anything, he just pulled it out, man. He's been taking out stocks with that forward to left and right, and now he's got the 2-1 advantage in the set over Sonic's. So, pretty, pretty big stuff. I mean, that, with how close that game was, that swing is, uh, is crucial. Yeah, crazy stuff. But it'll be interesting to see uh, if Sonic Sonic maybe elects to go back to Yoshi's or, or try a different stage. I don't know. I mean, we might have the most blessed timeline. We could. No Sonics in Winter Semis. Bo both Sonics getting taken out in Winter Semis. We and shall see. There could be. Yeah, there's definitely uh, strong support for that, I'd imagine. And uh, honestly, Cola Epic Gabriel sounds like an electric Winter's Finals nonetheless. But Sonic's not out of it yet. He's still got the... Uh, the potential to bring this back with two games in a row. Yeah, I mean, and as strong of a player as Sonic is too, it wouldn't surprise me. Not at all. Not at all. But Cola is the titan standing on the mountain right now that Sonic has to climb if he wants to make it to winner's finals. Yeah, I mean, and you saw him start opting for that slower style towards the end of game uh, three there. So I'm, I'm curious if maybe he took to implement that a little bit more. We do see Kalos as the pick here, so this is typically where we see the, the really slow Sonic games. Yeah. I was going to say, this is pretty much the polar opposite of, uh, of Yoshi's story. But you can already see it a little bit. I mean, not forcing uh, Polo to approach here a little bit more. Gets that quick 50 off of it. Yeah, nice two hits kind of lead into that almost immediately. Nicole just trying to catch some of these movement options with the side beat. Already 80%. Obviously, the uh, maybe a little more disengaged, I think is the right way to say. I mean, obviously, not going for the, the complete avoidance strategy, but like he has been able to just hit and run for so much damage, but unfortunately we've seen that quite a bit in this set, right? Where we've seen Cola get to that like 150, 160, 170 range, but then still take the stock first. Yep. Yeah, that, like we were talking, Roy with Rage. I mean, it's, uh, it can be pretty tilting if you if you were able to build up that percent and all it takes is a, dare I say, run up forward tilt. Maybe. <laughs> dare I say. But side B, 
is going to hurt as well. And once again, we're in that same situation. Let's jump with the back air with Rage. That's kind of scary, but able to survive a little longer on Kalos. And the back air, like you said, there's that same uh, movement mix up that can lead to those, those back airs. Will be very patient, but gets run up grabbed anyway. And these grabs aren't going to kill him for a very long time on this stage, but the F to will. Yeah, Sonic says that the different move is down throw that has that weird set knockback pattern. Yep, that was that one there. And Cole able to get the tech on it, but it ended up uh, burning him because the tech in place led to the, a quick punish. It's a mix up on it, right? So like if you if you miss the tech on the down throw there, you get sent off stage and Sonic can run off and try to hit an aerial or just drop the spring on you. Uh, if you hit the tech, uh, which most Sonics will expect you to at this, at this level of gameplay, then you do have to worry about the F2 the left match. Oh, just catches him with the back air, drops to the platform, evens up those stocks, and uh, you know Sonic's just looking to get a little more extra credit on that. Not able to though. Nice fair there. Some of the couple of up airs, building up some percent. Age-old story at this point. Sonic's building up this percent lead, and then Cola crawling back. 95 to 30 right now. I mean, still, this is a, a decent lead for Sonic, but not one that he's gonna feel super comfortable with, though. Ooh, went for that downward angle forward smash. That forward smash is so fast. Uh, he's got that on the on the B there. 100% now. This is where this is where things start to get a little bit dicier for Cola. We might see Sonic's yeah go to those plats and disengage a bit more here. Four minutes on the clock, still two stocks apiece. So time not quite the factor, but as we get into this first stock, or these last stocks, is when uh, you could see them slow it down quite a bit. And for a big commitment there on the fourth match, but Sonic's not really able to punish it. Yeah, I mean it's off of the it's off of the uh, the homing attack though, so not really risky from Cola, but unfortunately he doesn't connect with it. But now, I mean, both these players just playing the incremental game here. I feel like we've seen this maybe five or six times already in this set. Cole in that deep red and Sonic's in that, in that middle orange percent range. Yeah. Oh, gets a weird hitbox there, but able to seal up with that one. And now Sonic's Sonic is a range and <laughs> kind of broken character at times. Right. With up air and I guess that was an episode there that didn't quite do it. Kind of like tapped him a little bit. That almost looked like a phantom hit from uh, a different Smash game. Right, right, right. Okay. Getting close to it. I still have the jump. Every time I see that uh, that spring bonk on a uh, on a Sorry's head, I'm like, oh, they got their jump. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. And now, and now, not surprising. Sonic's really disengaging at this point. So, see how like Cole is trying to basically preemptively figure out where he's going. Yeah, building up, taps him in percent, and now Sonic is in the driver's seat for the rest of this game. Back here. Back here. Oh, but there's the back here of his own, and now we're on last stocks. And Damn, that was a tough break there from Sonic. Really overcommitted there on the spring. Cola more than ready to punish it. See, if Cola is able to bring Sonic back to a... Uh, Reasonable in tight percent, but get a couple soft hits. Genuinely impressive to see it this off. I would too. Already at 140. Just dancing around, trying to avoid getting this percent built up. About 90 seconds left. Oh, what a what a clank there another one where you're not going to see, like in the last game we saw Sonic's almost bring the, the percent game back. You're not going to see this in 90 seconds. Not at all. Yeah, this is a, this is a whole 130. Cole is either going to find a way to smack Sonic's in the mouth or we're probably going to get the timeout victory here. And now it's looking more and more possible. Aren't it? 60%. I mean, if he catches a forward smash. Oh! Oh my god! You know... Oh my god. I feel like he's listening to me at this point. He <laughs>